So in chat, where to focus our attention next? Lump in with the Greens, wait for the next Enough is Enough campaign, or more local issue organising? I think it's really important, Matt. I think you made a really important, you've raised a really important point here, which is that, sure, we hate Labour, we're not voting for Labour, we're out of the Labour bubble, we are divested from the Labour movement more broadly with regards to electoral politics. And we've we've accepted this, like we've accepted what this is. But I really want to ensure that not just people in my chat who are politically engaged, but people more broadly who are also dis you know, disillusioned with Labour as a political party and the Labour movement electorally, don't check out from the Labour movement at large. The single biggest political change that you can do in your life to try and get things to be better, to try and make the world a better place, to try and fight for the interests of people like us to join a trade union. That's the thing that you should immediately do. You shouldn't get rid of your trade union membership just because you're not linked up to the Labour Party. Electoral politics is not the be all and end all of how we engage with politics. The politics doesn't stop on July the 5th. The politics continues forever. Like in the David Mitchell sketch, the football goes on forever, right? And the first thing you should do is join a trade union. I would, I think you should join the Green Party, you should join us in campaigning for local elections, for municipal elections, for the potential base that we need to build to challenge Labour from the left when it comes to the next general election. It doesn't stop. We should be preparing for the next election as soon as July the 5th rolls around as well. But what we absolutely need to ensure that people do immediately, immediately, rather than thinking that nothing can change, the world will never be better, and the Labour Party in power have shut us out of politics forever. No, it does not stop. You need to join a union everybody who's watching i'll put this on tiktok later if you're watching this at home tiktok viewers you need you need to join a union you should join a trade union right it protects your rights at work it will ensure that you can get as many people together to collectively bargain if you then get your union recognized at work it's a way in which you connect with other working people to coordinate politically to coordinate with your organizing you can use trade unions to be able to build communities with people to be able to be part of your community to have things like credit unions that people can be part of there are loads of things that a trade union will do for you and it's the best way to get politically organized so that we are ready we have the movement built that we are ready for the next election we're ready for the next municipal elections the next local elections the next general election there might be a random snap election at some point if we just check ourselves out forever you know your landlord doesn't check out of politics your boss doesn't check out of politics if you check out of politics then you're letting your boss and your landlord control politics and again, the best way to ensure that you have a political voice when there are no elections to decide elected officials is to join a political grouping of people who share your material interests as working people. And that grouping is a trade union. So if you're watching this, the first thing you should do, close tick, close YouTube, close Twitch, stop watching me, unsubscribe, and go to tuc.org.uk forward slash join union, find your trade union and join. If you're a low earner, it can be as low as five pounds a month to join a trade union. And it's the best community that you need to fight for your interests outside of electoral politics. Because again, it does not stop when you vote. The work does not finish as soon as you vote in the election. And liberals think that it does. Liberals are too busy going, we have to vote out fascism. No, you have to fight fascism. You have to fight conservatism. You have to fight the power of capital. And that does not stop as soon as you cast your ballot, it continues. I will repeat it for the millionth time. The way you continue that fight is by joining a trade union. But trade union membership in this country has continually declined. Even though Mick Lynch seems to be like all over our TV screens, you can't stop for seeing Mick Lynch on BBC Politics Live, like the big union moment where the nurses went on strike for the first time in living memory. And the first time since the miners' strike, when public opinion was against working people, the first time since the mess of the 70s, people were behind us. People supported trade unions. They supported the strikers. They supported working people. The pandemic changed the paradigm. The pandemic taught people. Working people are the backbone of our society. As Mick Lynch has said on Sky News, working people build the wealth of our civilization, and we do not get the just proceeds of the wealth that we create because our interests are not served by politicians. The balance between labour and capital is massively out of whack. And that rebalancing has to come from organisation. It will have to come from forces outside of politicians who can be bought by private interests. And again, you collectively bargain, you collectively organise within your trade union. And people recognise this. The country would have collapsed if regular people didn't go out doing their workhouse deliveries, didn't go out doing stuff for Uber Eats, didn't go out to Tesco and stack the shelves so that the people could be able to eat the food that they needed when they couldn't leave their house.
working people carried our country through the pandemic and it changed it changed how our country looked at the labor market it changed how our country looked at people who work it changed when the nurses went on strike after being clapped after we clapped for the nurses during the pandemic did the nurses pay their bills with claps no they were being screwed over by our government they were being failed by our elected representatives and we couldn't vote them out to get the nurses better pay there was only one way that they could get better pay and it was through collective action through going on strike after warning the government that they would they went on strike they collectively bargained and they got a pay and they got a pay arrangement they, they managed to negotiate a pay deal which had bonuses and an increase in an uplift in pay they would not have got it if they'd have just waited until the next election to replace the tories with the labor party not that the labor party would necessarily better for nurses but anyway regardless they fought and they won Unite the Union fought for hotel porters to no longer be employed by a private contractor. They won through collective action to be brought back in-house as a publicly employed porter, not indeed as a private subcontractor. You don't have to wait until we voted in another government. We fought for collective action and we won. And people backed us. People backed the trade unions. People overwhelmingly backed striking nurses and striking doctors because they saw that these people put their lives on the line for the country during the pandemic. Yet still, after all of this moment, after the trade union had a new moment after the pandemic, trade union membership still declining. Amongst under 25s, trade union membership is at 9%. 9% in this country. That's abysmal. The trade union, the number of people in a trade union has been decreasing ever since the 1980s. And the population is bigger and the number is still dropping. This is a problem. Again, I really cannot impress upon people who are watching this later on. If you're a young person, if you're a 19-year-old, if you're a 20-year-old, for example, you just entered the world of work, right? I get it. No one's explained to you what a trade union even is. You might not even know what a trade union is. You might not know that it's a trade union you can join. You don't need to have a recognised union in your workplace to pay your union dues and then use that as a method so that you have somebody who can come in and be part of your disciplinary process to protect you from your employer. To have access to free legal advice and legal representation if you need to take your employer to court for bad business practices. You do not get that if you're not part of a trade union. Of course, you want to have as many people in your union in your workplace as possible to try and get your union recognised to collectively bargain. But that doesn't happen out of nowhere. The very first step, as I've said a thousand times now, the very first step to getting people in your workplace together and organised and having a union recognised is you joining a trade union yourself. That is the first step. And if you wait for somebody else to do it, it won't get done. You need to take that first step. You need to become part of the movement. You need to ensure that you're protecting yourself and convincing everybody else they can protect themselves as well. Because if we don't, the gap between labour and capital will continue to grow. It will continue to get bigger and bigger. The only way of redressing that, in the absence of politicians fighting our corner, which we won't have, because those same capitalists now fund the Labour Party, they now pay Keir Starmer's bills. The only people we're going to be able to defend ourselves is ourselves. The only people we can trust, the only people we can count on to be there defending us. And so we need to collectively protect ourselves. Again, and the way you do that is by joining a trade union. What would you suggest for a sole trader like you? Just go to tuc.org.uk forward slash join union. Use the tool to search for a union that can represent you. I understand that, of course, as a sole trader, and it's not going to be there for like a dispute or whatever it might be, but I mean, you can still protect you from the state. If... And also unions can fight to protest legislation, can build movements to uh, combat the government when it comes to legislation. You know, when it came to the pension law in France, for example, the biggest group who were there protesting the pension law was the CGT, was the General Workers Trade Union. They were the ones organising the protest. They were the ones out there getting people in their millions to descend onto the streets of France to protest Macron's pension reforms. Whether you are a sole trader or not, you may not have an employer to bargain with. Being part of that group, that organisation that's there to be able to fight against government policy that negatively impacts workers, it's all being part of the movement that's important. See, I'm a sole trader now. I guess I'm technically a, a subcontractor, an independent contractor of YouTube and Twitch, whatever. But you know, I part of my trade union membership is to protect myself from them, but also to be part of the bigger movement of the trade. I don't really use my union membership for much anymore. I really don't. But I, I recognise that being part of the union is important. Being part of the CWU is important. Contributing to a, you know, the strike funds that people in the Royal Mail would need. Contributing to people like 
the the representatives that fight for my rights when it comes to you know, having consultations with the government like this is all important this is all part of the process Hey there, if you enjoyed the video, make sure that you like and leave a comment that helps the video out in the algorithm. If you subscribe and ring the bell, it'll let you know when I go live. I stream every day on YouTube and Twitch. You can also follow all of my socials down in the description. And if you want to support me in a more financial manner, there's a join button for memberships. It's just 99p to be a member on YouTube, as well as a patron. And there's some merch there as well. And hopefully I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.